When I was a child, my parents played a game with me, seek the hidden object. When I was looking at a wrong place, they said cold. When I looked at the right place, they said warm or hot. That way I knew where to look. The given temperature was my guiding system. Emotions work the same way, they are given to us, so that we know we are on the right track or not. That might be a totally new way of looking at emotions. The first thing that you might want to consider, is that you are supposed to feel good. Yes, you are supposed to feel good, all the time. When you feel good you are on the right track, some people call that, being in alignment. This is also something that you can practice, observe your emotions. Question them, and try to find out why you feel what you feel. This is what people call, mindfulness. What causes you to feel bad? Where do bad feeling emotions come from? You are love and compassion, if you do not act or think about someone, with love and compassion, you feel bad, you are out of alignment. It's like you hear you parents say, cold. For example, you are jealous at someone, you feel bad. Not because of the circumstances, which you might think, but because you do not think or act from your compassion or love. There are two scales, one upward with love and compassion at the top, and one with shame and fear at the bottom. When your emotion is on the left scale, you are in alignment. On the right scale you feel bad. You are always supposed to feel good, so try to be on the left scale. This is only possible if you somehow do not combine, what you feel, with the circumstances you are in. This might be against what you always have been thinking, this needs focus and practice. Do not judge yourself if it doesn't work right away. If you judge yourself, you feel bad, because then you do not act out of love or act out of compassion towards yourself. See how it works? Okay, wait a minute, so I have to love or look with compassion to people who are bullying me? Forgive them? I never get that done. Yes that is much to ask. But that is for a next clip about forgiveness. In short, love yourself, observe and question your emotions and try to be on the left scale. I hope you have enjoyed this clip. I hope it helps, and wish you all the best. Till next time.